Sir John Major savaged the government over its handling of the Owen Paterson lobbying scandal, condemning its actions as shameful and wrong. Should ex-PMs like John Major and Tony Blair intervene in politics today? The former Conservative leader said the government was politically corrupt. Speaking on BBC Radio 4's Today programme Mr Major said he is now posed with a dilemma if he had to consider voting for Boris Johnson to remain as the Prime Minister at the next election. This week the government briefly tried to come to Mr Patterson's after the Standards Committee accused him of a breach of lobbying rules. Sir John Major told BBC Radio 4's Today programme, I think the way the government handled that was shameful, wrong and unworthy of this or indeed any government. It also had the effect of trashing the reputation of Parliament. On Wednesday, MPs in the Commons were to vote on Mr Paterson's 30-day parliamentary suspension for advocating on behalf of two companies. The companies in question paid the Conservative MP more than £100,000 a year between them for lobbying on their behalf. However, the government instead backed an amendment that suspended Mr Patterson's punishment. The government then faced a media backlash after it attempted to change the rules on the way ministers' conduct is policed by creating a new standards body. Sir John Major said that the government's attempt to protect Mr Patterson was profoundly unconservative. He went on to describe it as something he disliked intensely. He added that the conduct of the current administration was damaging at home and to our reputation overseas. The former Prime Minister then said that he has been concerned for some time over Mr Johnson's premiership. One example that Sir John focused on in his interview was Mr Johnson's decision to override elements of the Brexit deal. He said, there is a general whiff of, we are the masters now, about their behaviour. He added, I'm afraid that the government, with their over-large majority, do tend to treat Parliament with contempt. And if that continues, it will end badly. They bypass Parliament at will and the Speaker has expressed his frustration about that on many occasions, and rightly so. But they also behaved badly in other ways that are perhaps politically corrupt. Tony Blair has also been accused of interference, long after he left his government position. He has been called a true friend of the US after meeting with a congressman to discuss the special relationship between the UK and the US. Mr Blair recently chatted to US Congressman for Philadelphia, Brendan Boyle on US-UK relations.